So right out the gate, we have Akam training for four extra yellow MP, brought Lesnar, Blast Gems do 30% more damage, and x Pac. every red match gives one extra red MP. The Dream Valley Driver makes a random 1x4 area into Blast Gems, his Twisting Springboard Forearm gains seven red MP, and his Purple Raymaker does 25 450 damage and destroys one random Blast Gem. Now my idea with this build was to prioritize matching yellow because without fail I know at least with one yellow match by my second turn my Dream Valley Driver will be filled up. If my finisher isn't filled up it will be close to being filled and all I gotta do is make one more turn, one more red match and that way I can hit my Dream Valley Driver and sorry I can hit the Purple Rainmaker and destroy any blast gems created by the Dream Valley Driver. Jake the Snake, he makes all of my red gems into immobile gems which can make a match like this difficult. If you're facing someone who takes advantage of the fact that you use red gems, that's where matching the yellow gems comes into play because you are guaranteed to gain 7 red MP. So watch Jake here fail at trying to pin me, I'm going to hit my yellow move, gain the 7 MP, make a random area into blast gems, hit my finisher and it is a wash. This second build, red, yellow, purple against Baron Corbin, come on Dream, against Baron Corbin, the Jackhammer replaces the gain 7 MP move. The Jackhammer is actually a choose blast gem area of 3x1, and the spinning spine buster deals 14646 damage and makes a 3x3 random area into red gems. We have this time Woods training in place of Brock Lesnar. Woods, uh, for this build, uh, a yellow match on turn one, a purple match on turn one, either way, I'm good. Um, with the three by three area, my finisher is guaranteed to be filled regardless, just because I have x coaching. So you wanna prioritize matching purple, so at least the finisher is filled, and then matching yellow secondary. Come on, come on. So the reason I hit my finisher is because I know once I hit my purple move on the next turn, my finisher is going to be filled anyway. So I did that strictly for move damage. Watch me kick out here, make Baron Carbon sad. Baron Carbon sad. Yes, he's he's despondent. Spine Buster, see, finisher is filled, but Baron Carbon is destroyed. Next match against Mr. Perfect, same build with the class disadvantage. Gonna play a little defense, gonna match blue gems because his finisher creates blue gems. Both him and I are going for purple gems. So, as much as possible, I, I play defense, take his green gems to stab off his finisher. As you can see, my purple move is ready, which is gonna fill my finisher. I'm gonna make uh, possibly a yellow match to, to pin him because on the next turn, I'm gonna hit my designated a uh, 3x1 area of blast gems and then hit my finisher. With the designated 3x1 area of blast gems, ideally I would want to place them close to purple gems or yellow gems, uh, something that could help fill up my finisher. As you can see, I place it close to purple and a red and a yellow, so that worked out. I got a, a piece of every color. Perfect realizing he's not so perfect against the vain glorious one, Velveteen Dream. Yellow match in the clutch, another yellow match. So I'm gonna place these blast gems in an area. Oh, no I didn't, I made that purple match which is perfect. So I hit the blast gems, placing them someplace. I think the three by three red gems would hit so it'll be destruction, but they don't, it's okay. Like I said, my finisher is ready and bada bang bada boom. This has been a time saver tutorial. Thank you for watching, adios. Yeah!